So Waze took us on an adventure. So today is a national holiday, so obviously the roads will be congested. But I was very shocked. You can see me noticing right now that ooh, something's awry. Where does Waze want me to, to go? This is not at all the routes that you're supposed to take to where we were going. I'm trying to figure out if, like, what's happening, what should we do? I'm checking the route, like, what is this? Where does this, this want me to go through? But then I also notice just how long the congestion is, how long the... just how long the traffic jam was, and I decided, fuck it, I'm going to trust ways this time. I just pull out here. This dude, who is not an actual policeman, is like, hey, yo, just go on, go, you know, have fun. And we're like, oh my, this road looks slightly suspicious, slightly unmaintained, quite, quite worrisome. You can hear me say, maybe we should not have taken this route. You can see me swerving left and right to avoid the potholes but this is not the best part this is not the best part at all it gets better ways here is like now take a right i'm like okay take a right here oh my god if you can see the road those are rocks <laughs> that is straight up a stone paved road and i'm thinking okay hopefully this is going to be for just a little bit. No, this is the almost the whole road. You can hear just how loud it got in the car because, well, it's a stone paved road. God knows how old this road is for it to just be stone paved. Like, it's not something you just see every day. Uh, so, we were obviously very, very surprised. You can see it's just bouncing up and down in the car, just how un, well, uneven the road is. Although, no, no potholes, it's just very uneven and very loud, but we're just bouncing left and right in the, in the car. <laughs> it looks ridiculous, and it felt kind of ridiculous, but also, it's quite, you can see my hand movement there. I was like, hey, yo, what is this? Uh, we've, we do have some interesting hairpins. I imagine that this road is very fun in the winter, or very, very, dangerous one of the two and is icing on the cake apparently a bus comes through on this road and uh, you know fair enough after a short stretch we enter some kind of village I or small town village thing I've, I've never heard of it and you can see there is Asphalt, but the asphalt is in abysmal condition with many 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 potholes and semi well fixed potholes and it's just awful and we're, we're talking in the car that well Actually if the roads of the asphalt roads are look like that I mean these uh, stone paved roads are uh, well to be preferred After a bit more driving, all of a sudden, asphalt again, but just for one corner, it's, it's asphalt just for one corner. Again, my my uh, Italian signs, uh, hand signs, I, you know, I'm like confused, like what is this, what does this mean? But oh man, this is just the beginning, this is where it gets good. We suddenly, the ways is like, please turn right, what do you mean right? Look at this road, look at this, it's like hole in the middle, what is this, this looks ridiculous well apparently Waze wants us to go through here fair enough Waze where are you taking me I hope this road can support a low BMW with 18 inch wide ass low profile tires so uh, you know yeah plus I'm we're here in the you know what is this some guy some people's backyards they probably don't get too much traffic through, through these roads only you know other neighbors So this is our existence, our experience, our life at that moment for quite a while, just cruising through these back 
yards, these back roads of these of this village next to Sofia that I've never heard of, never seen, or never been. We just kind of cruise through here, you know, uh, enjoying the scenery because the scenery is quite nice. You can't really see it in the video, but there's like a mountain to one side, and there's just like cliffs to the other side. It's quite spectacular looking, except that the road you can see not in the best quality. Lots, lots, lots of you know homemade fixes on it. Imagine on the asphalt, and that is just not optimal. At this point, even the house has disappeared. It's quite overgrown all of a sudden. We like deep in deep in the mountain or some shit, dude. What are we doing here, Waze? But in fairness, on all fairness to Waze, Waze saved us 40, 50 minutes. The congestion was absolutely dreadfully long and massive. We're just cresting a, a massive hill apparently here. And then this badass dog that just simply could not care less about us. You can see it. You can see it just sitting there and, and it's looking at us. It's just like, what are you? I'm not going to move. It even turned its back to us. I'm just like, oh, all right. It moved. It moved. The dog finally moved. But still, you know, that's the type of dogs they apparently have here. Ones that do not particularly care if you're uh, doing a ways adventure through the backyards of people. Here we stumble upon some people, probably confused as to what we are doing here because there was, there were two, three cars behind us again, wazers, and then all of a sudden, brand new, brand new. It's still black, brand new asphalt, no, no sounds. It's quiet to drive on it. It's just nice and smooth, and not what we just experienced with the off-road uh, asphalt. And the best part is, you can see us getting back on the stone paved road well essentially the stone paved road is the main road and it goes like on top of the little village we pass through and then goes through the middle of it and ends up on where we are right now essentially ways not only ways us away into a small hidden tucked village away from the congestion it also did the quintessential ways thing into putting you into the most ridiculous a road situation just so you can save a minute or two i would imagine that if we were on the main road it would have been much more relaxed we probably would not have lost too much time especially since we would not be moving in first gear second gear 10 to 20 kilometers in these tight small unmaintained back roads you know back streets of this uh, village small city thing After another, you know, fun little sprint on the paved roads in between civilization, we re-enter civilization. This apparently is still the same city village thing. It's uh, quite, it's quite large, actually. It's very large. This city. You can see other wazers uh, skipping the congestion on the other side, uh, going, you know, into Sofia. We're currently going out of Sofia. You can see another bus. There's bus, buses here, you know, the bus probably does not go through those small houses back streets. No, probably does not go through there. Probably goes on the main road. Why did Waze not take it on the main road? Because it's Waze. You're using Waze. You're going to do, you're going to live the Waze, the Waze life, okay? give the car a nice one to give it the beans and we are uh, well on a main road a much much mainer road made of asphalt which is an all right quality after that we enter the city another city and we get to the the smaller congestion of other wazers trying to get onto the main road and after a not 
not our, well, after a lengthy wait, we get into the main road, we've saved 40 minutes probably, and we are off on our way, on our journey, having experienced a spe special ways experience, one that only wazers or very old heads that know, know these, ra these shady roads. So yeah, uh, ways took us, took us on a quite an adventure. <laughs> 